Good afternoon. Uh, this is um, an example of stem on a budget. Basically, the materials that we have used here is uh, cardboard, tongue depressors, a lot of hot glue, um, syringes or some sort of uh, a plunger system, and uh, tubing. And let's see, what else do we have? Uh, we've got some string, and basically, the whole concept of stem on a budget is uh, you can go ahead and go through your recyclables, go through your drawers um, where you have loose uh, tools and screws and things like that and see what you can make with it. What we ended up making was a robotic arm. And basically the way that this works, this works on a hydraulic system. Uh, this is similar to a pneumatic system, which works on air. This works on, uh, on fluid. So what we have is we have the syringes that as we pull, we can move the fluid in and out of the syringe that's on the other side. So in this case, we can move the arm up and down. We can also move it up and down. So there's two different places. So you can choose whatever hinges that you would want. And we also have the ability to um, open and close the claw that's on the end. And that claw is basically nothing but uh, tongue depressors. The key there is uh, we've used rubber bands to add tension to the claw so that it would automatically automatically close. Close with enough force so that you might be able to pick something up with it. Now with the materials that we used here, you're not gonna be able to pick up anything that's too heavy, but you can pick up uh, empty soda cans, maybe even quarter filled soda cans, milk, uh, milk cartons, things like that. And so our whole concept here is there's a lot of different robotic arms, most of them based uh, on electronics. But if uh, budget is tight, there are ways of making things like robotic arms with materials and then uh, using a different power system instead of uh, electrical motors. In this case, we're using hydraulics. That's just an example of what will be going on in the workshop that we're doing this summer.